Good morning. Today is Wednesday, October the 5th, and our lesson this morning is Hold Fast Without Wavering. And our lesson is coming from Hebrew, the 10th chapter, the 19th verse through the 25th. And the scripture lesson text read, Therefore, brothers, since we have confidence to enter the holy place by the blood of Jesus, by the new and living way that he opened for us through the curtain that is through his flesh, and since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience, and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how to stir up one another to love, and good works, not neglecting to meet together as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day drawing near. Amen. We have a great lesson this morning. Our lesson is teaching us, first of all, it says, Therefore, brothers, since we have confidence to enter the holy place, by the blood of Jesus. How do we have confidence that we can go straight to our Lord Jesus Christ? We don't have to go through a mediator. We don't have to go through uh, not meaning no disrespect, no harm. But we don't have to go to the preacher. We don't have to go to the bishop. We don't have to go to nobody but Jesus Christ himself. And we can go to him and speak to him on our own behalf and ask uh, what we need. It said, By the new and living way that he opened for us through the curtain that is through his flesh. His flesh opened up for us. Opened up with the cat of nine tails that put the stripes in his body that by his stripes we were healed. And since we have a great priest over the house of God, who is our great priest over the house of God? Jesus Christ is our house priest. Uh, our house is our priest over our house. He is a priest over all. He is our uh, Savior. Let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance with our heart sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water the pure water of the blood of Jesus, that we are clean, that our sins are forgiven, and that we can go to him in prayer without any uh, doubt or fear that we are being heard. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering. Let us not stop from the beginning from where we started, where we were first filled with his precious Holy Ghost and that with fire. When we were filled, we had a fire to go and to do his will, to do whatever he would have us to do. Lord, we walked around. Lord, help me to bless somebody. Help me to be a blessing to somebody. Where's that fire that was once in us? Let us seek that fire again. For he who promised is faithful. If we stay, stay nigh to him, he will be nigh to us. It's, and let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works. Let us think about how we can help our brother and our sister to be closer to God. How we can be a blessing to others by teaching them the word of God or by speaking the word of God or by speaking a blessing in their life. Not neglecting to meet together as is the habit of some. We forget that we must, we are to, meet together and assemble as children of God and to go forth to do His work. It said, but encouraging one another, we must help each other in encouragement because encouragement, many times we fall short because we are lacking encouragement. We feel that we are doing wrong, that we feel that uh, someone is not liking what we are doing and we, 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 we go on man's opinion. 
and instead of God's opinion, that we are to go about our Father's business. It said, and all the more as you see the day drawing now. As we see, as many people say, that time is getting near. There is rewards and rumors of wars. There is uh, divers places of, of, of thirst and hunger. We should make sure that we are walking in the light of the Lord and doing His will. Because we don't know the day nor the hour when the Son of Man shall come. We don't know the time. So we must always work today because tomorrow is never promised to us. I pray that you enjoy this message today and y'all have a blessed day.